cannot believe my room has gotten so messy honestly over just the past week i know i'm always the type of girly to be consistent with my routine be mindful i just feel like i have been very much feeling lazy just procrastinating cleaning my room it's currently halloween and my only plans for today are to clean this room thinking we're just gonna start off with side of the room i need to get rid of a bunch of stuff my little tv stand area i don't really use it that much tell me why i have pumpkin spice popcorn to get rid of a bunch of my halloween decorations i think i'm gonna first start off with taking out all of the halloween decor filled up this bag and put all of the seasonal decorations in here. We're still technically in the autumn season. I just wanted to get rid of all the decorations right now. Also, when I was getting the decorations, I hit my tripod and my nail fell off. I honestly feel like I just got these done like a week ago and these are so cute, but I'm going to try to re-glue it back on. I wipe down my surface seeing this ever spring. I love this one specifically because the lavender scent is not too strong. I feel like it's bearable for my cat. Not in my room right now because I don't want her ingesting any of the fumes. This would probably be like the safest option. Just get a washcloth, spray it, and then wipe it. I didn't want to specify that my room in no means is like this pinterest aesthetic room some of this furniture is really really old what is this anyways this is my little bin that i have my journals and my books in and i also have like some pens and stuff like that so i bought this from tj maxx and this it doesn't come like this it's two pieces they're just stuck together like it literally says two kind of sucks that i never got it to be unstuck but you know what it's okay i guess i'm gonna put it on my tv stand also i'm not doing this in any particular order some clips you're gonna see me decorating other clips you're gonna see me cleaning so it's very much all over the place and that's how my mind is right now so as long as i'm getting it done I have this big box that is filled with candles from Cozy Me Candles. A subscriber that owns a candle business sent me some in the beginning of fall. But honestly, I just don't know where to put them. So I'm going to put them on here. These are some of the candles that she has. The scents are really good. Along with that, she also sent me a candle burner, which I'll show you guys later. I have a bunch of these extra candle melts that you put on top of the candle. So I'm going to put them in this clear bin. Really like how it looks. Our next task to tackle is this. finished two compartments out of the three that i have here honestly the progress is looking pretty good what i'm doing with most of the items is i'm thinking do i really need this and if it's not a solid yes i'm instantly just throwing it away i feel like i have so many products that i'm just like hoarding and keeping and i think i'm going to use them but in reality i'm probably never going to if you're going to be cleaning or decluttering your room highly recommend getting like large trash bags so you can just throw away the junk and you don't have to think twice about it wiping down a mirror just gives me complete satisfaction we're gonna move over to my standing desk and there's not a bunch of junk on here again i just need to get rid of things also three hours i swear i cannot be like consistently cleaning because i just feel so tired after i know something that helps a lot of people is like setting a timer so i'm gonna set a timer for an hour we're gonna see how much i can get done looking so much better already we have three more things to do before this room like organizational cleaning is all done i need to do my vanity and we're moving straight to that usually i would like do my bed but i feel like i'm gonna be adding a bunch of stuff on my bed like look at that i need to find a placement for all of the stuff right there to do my vanity we're gonna make my bed and then deep clean the floor i think i need some caffeine because i'm starting to get in a little bit of a slump i don't think i've ever tried this flavor of alani before it's hawaiian shaved ice mm. 
Mm, 200 milligrams of caffeine. This timer, I have 34 minutes left. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish my vanity in that time, but we're gonna make it a goal to at least try to finish it. Nonetheless, I am still finishing my whole room today. I just feel like putting on a timer makes me feel like I'm in a movie. I don't know that if I don't beat it, it's like gonna explode. Like the whole world is just gonna. Never mind. Basically, these are how my drawers are pretty much looking. It looks organized. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It looks like a mess. Like it's meant to be organized. It's just not. In my head, I don't think it's an issue because I can tell you right now where everything is, and I feel like that's the problem. Under all of the mess, I know where things are, and I know it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be clean and organized. It doesn't make any sense for me to continue to buy myself things if I am not even going to use the ones that I already have. vanity is looking pretty good i feel like regardless no matter what it's just going to look so unorganized because of the clear bins like you know when you just have everything organized but then you see it and then it just looks like mess it looks like clutter but then in your eyes you're like no this isn't mess or clutter i know i'm supposed to be like getting rid of stuff but these actually came in the mail today from amazon it's these little like get ready with me hair clips i literally use them in every one of my videos when i'm getting ready because this is like mainly where i'm always at we got the pink the white and the black and these are essential i also have these these are a little bit more chunky if you are sensitive to having like heavy or a lot of stuff on your head and you get headaches easily I would not recommend these I have a low pony right now and I'm already starting to get a slight headache I just need to organize my skincare and then I have a bunch of these creams I've had these since last year I refuse to give them up I'm pretty sure they already expired These are like perfect for Christmas and I just didn't use these at all last year I used them like maybe three times and I feel like that would just be such a waste energy drink gave me like i don't want to say diarrhea sorry tw Wait, not even tw like girl it's normal please i've been needing to clean my room forever like literally forever progress is progress though honestly i am making some pretty good progress if i do say so myself whenever people say that cleaning is their escape or like they like to clean it's very therapeutic like yes i agree but to a certain extent like when i'm cleaning for four hours straight it does not become enjoyable because i'm like what's going on why did i even like it's more of a mental thing where i'm like why did i let myself let it get this bad this reminds me to be cautious next time it doesn't even have to be 30 minutes it can be 10 minutes to clean up after yourself every day skincare fridge here i put some face masks and just extra skincare products that i don't normally use every day i'm gonna go ahead and add in my vanish skincare products just because i don't have enough space we are almost done with the room. Let's do a little time check. It is currently 7.01. I believe I started cleaning around 3.30. Cleaning actually takes up just so much of your time. For me, it did go by a little bit faster just because I was watching YouTube videos like all throughout me cleaning. Like there was never a silent moment or if there was, I was playing music. So always just like keeping that energy up when I'm cleaning definitely helps me not have a little burnout. it's all cleaned and organized so let's do a little room tour this is how the tv stand is looking i went ahead and organized these little compartments although it isn't the best and it's not perfect i feel like i'm very much organized over here so we have my like daily little plastic coffee cups my cats bin self-care stuff candles and slime in here and up here i put all of the candles that i got and it looks so freaking cute here i have this light i don't know where it's from so below this we have my cat's pet carrier shoes that i don't want to take out of the box that's little scratcher is down here which i need to get her new one my robe over here and it's covering my cat trick or treats and her self-care robe i didn't even show you guys the top but i didn't really do nothing to it i'm actually really happy about how this turned out and i feel like since my room is so small i need to take advantage of my space i feel like i always give myself the excuse of i can't walk on my walking pad because there's just always a mess so now i have some more space and i really like how it looks over here i didn't change anything we have my salt rock lamp which i really love if you're looking to amp up your room getting these little galaxy lights or even these fairy lights 
changes the game so much and this is my candle warmer that I was telling you guys about earlier in the video. I wanted to show you guys my little work area over here because this is very much like sentimental to me. I want it to be cozy. I want my mind to be calm whenever I'm working on my laptop. These are my crystals right here. Mainly half of these little crystals were gifted to me by friends and stuff. Crystals are just so pretty and everything. And then I put this little candle here. It's a little um, wax melt candle. I love getting like cheap, cute decor. If you're looking for a more budget friendly or option, Dollar Tree, even Amazon, you can buy like certain decorations in bulk and you can just put them all throughout your room. This was my vision board for 2024 and I'm gonna need to make a new one soon. It really speaks out to me. I really, really love it. Up there I have my dream catcher. I actually got this when I went to New Mexico. I love traveling. Unfortunately, I can't do it as often as I want to. I just love that I got it from there and it was just so unique to me. I made my bed. It looked cute and I took off all of the Halloween pillows and the blankets. So we're just left with this. Now we're moving on to my vanity. Honestly, I love how organized it looks. It didn't look too bad before. I'm in love with this little lamp. Like I'm telling you guys, adding lamps and lights to your room really amplifies the vibe. Over here, we have like the things that I mainly use every single day. Can we take a moment to talk about the drawers? Because I feel like I really did a good job just reorganizing it. Honestly, I understand if you look at these drawers and you're like, Amethyst, you did nothing. You did absolutely nothing. All you did was take them out and then put them back in. Just doing a little deep clean on the products and just making sure the surface of the products are good to use and they don't have like any germs on them. I really loved how my room turned out. Again, just to preface, this is not like an extreme room transformation. This was regular, smegular, regular. And I totally get that. I totally understand that. I'm just a girly that is trying to get my life together. And hopefully this video motivated you to get up and clean your room. Because if you're watching, maybe you're in some type of slum. Don't beat yourself up about it. I understand that having a messy room has a lot to do with mental health. It's not even just being lazy. It's about mentally just being so tired that you just can't clean. I've definitely been there. There's been so many times where I just don't want to get out of my bed. And I don't want to do anything. But I feel like really putting your mind to it. And just getting it done. Putting on a podcast, a video. Just get to cleaning. And you don't have to clean your whole room. Just clean for as long as you can. I just want to mention that I am so grateful for everything that I have in my room. And like I said in the beginning, my furniture is not brand new, but I'm still so grateful for everything that I have. And even though some things may not look visually aesthetic or visually cute, that doesn't mean that you have to get rid of the furniture. I truly believe that if I cannot use it up until the last bit, then what am I really using it for? Like my vanity, for instance, it has a bunch of like cuff marks and the wood is already showing. To get a new vanity, I easily could, but what's the purpose of that when this is doing just fine? It actually being functional and as long as it's still standing then I personally don't see a problem with it because I feel like a lot of people can put up this image especially creators can put up this image on the internet of like their room is perfect so then we think that we have to have a perfect life or a perfect atmosphere I'm gonna be the girly to tell you that you do not and you do not have to feed to those unrealistic standards and if having a clean room is going to help you feel a little bit better then all props to you you go ahead and you do that but just don't feel like you have to have the most perfect room sometimes things get messy and sometimes life is tough life gets in the way so we get easily distracted. Today was the perfect example of me getting distracted but still being able to show up for myself. And as much as you think that your room doesn't play a role in your mental health, y'all, I promise it does. So if you really want to prioritize that aspect of your life and just taking care of yourself, make sure that you're taking care of your room and your space around, making sure that it's clean. Obviously, it's not going to be picture perfect 24-7, but as long as you're trying, I'm so excited that I got to take you along this little journey. It was honestly really therapeutic just to get rid of all of the mess. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below the bubble emoji. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys had a safe one out there. I love you so much. God loves you. Don't forget to show up and take care of yourself. I will see you in my next video. Bye.